this is Mrs. Cooper with the weekly update for the week of October 25th, 2019. Here are some upcoming events. The Elementary Fall Scholastic Book Fair will be on October 28th through November 1st. Parents can shop at our late night at the book fair on Wednesday, October 30th from 4 o'clock p.m. until 6.30 p.m. The Sea Cadets will have a fundraiser car wash on Saturday, October 26th from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. at our elementary campus. The Marine Lab field trip to Key Largo will be on February 26th through February 27th. Space is very limited. Please hurry if you are interested. On November 1st, we will have a storybook character parade for students in grades kindergarten and first grade. Students can dress up as their favorite storybook character and they can parade down the hallways while the other students cheer them on. The parade will be at 8.30 a.m. and parents are welcome to come and watch their students. Here's Mr. Andropont. Hi guys, Mr. Andropont here. Um, at the Middle High School campus we have our winter dances scheduled. They are Thursday, November 7th and Friday, November 8th. Thursday is the middle school and Friday is the high school. So make sure you get those permission slips and your fees in to me as soon as possible. Here's Miss Mustafa with some science news. Hello, Miss Mustafa here. Science teacher, researcher for middle school, high school here at the Maritime Academy. We've got something exciting happening. We will be having our first annual science fair here on uh, Wednesday, October 30th from 6 to 8 p.m. Everyone who's in a research class will be conducting an experiment, presenting their results, and there will be awards. Additionally, those that are picked as the top projects will get a chance to compete against all the other students in Palm Beach County at the uh, County Science Fair, which will be happening in December. And we are very excited. It's our first year. Parents, we expect you to come and support our cause, and we hope that um, we get some winning projects. Everyone, my name is Marie Turchier. I'm the executive director at Palm Beach Maritime Academy and High School, and I want to talk to you about a very, very important topic today, and that topic is threats. As you all know, we live in a very, very different world than the world in which parents and certainly I grew up in. And things are taken much more seriously now than they ever were, and with good reason. Schools have become a place where we drill, where we make sure our children are safe, where we do everything we can to protect our teachers and our students. But I need you to talk to your children and students, I need you to be aware that threats are taken very, very seriously. Whether it's a threat joking around, whether it's a threat that you really don't mean, whether it's a threat that you really do mean. If you make a threat, a lot of things go into motion. There's an investigation. The police are called. Crisis teams are called. It puts a lot of things, as I said, in motion, and threats will not be tolerated. We don't know what threats are real and what threats aren't real. And of course, we're going to make the assumption that all threats are real. Parents, uh, note about cell phones and social media. Please keep an eye on what your children are writing on social media. I understand that they feel they're entitled to privacy. But as long as they're under 18, they're under your jurisdiction. Remember that anything that goes onto social media from a cell phone or from anything that you pay for is something that you may have to answer for. So you have every right and an obligation to monitor what your children are doing. It's very important. So everybody, please, 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 don't make any kinds of threats. Don't make them kidding around. 
don't make them seriously, certainly. And know that at Palm Beach Maritime Academy, if you're having issues, or you're having issues with other students, or you're having issues at home, we have a guidance counselor on each campus. We have a school mental health counselor who's full-time. We have a nurse full-time on each campus. We have teachers, we have administrators. You can talk to any of them. We have an anonymous um, box that you can look to talk to the guidance counselor. We have the anonymous bullying hotline. So handle things that way. We have a lot of avenues for you. Don't make threats, even fooling around. So please take this seriously. Parents, I absolutely need your help with this. Thank you for listening and have a good rest of the day. Hi, I'm Miss Donlin, the school counselor at the middle and high school campus. I just wanted to talk to you about two events that we um, that I would like to share with you. Uh, first, our financial aid night for our high school students. This is going to be held on the same night as science fair night, which is October 30th. Uh, financial Aid Night is a great opportunity for all of our high school families and students to come and get some major information about the FAFSA application, college information, and uh, Bright Future Scholarships. Uh, we're going to begin the night at 6.30 um, for Financial Aid Night. From 6.30 to 7, it's going to be for all high school students and their families. And then from 7 to 8, is going to be for our seniors and their families to help with the FAFSA application. The FAFSA application opened up on October 1st. Uh, so if you'd like, you can get started and then get some information on October 30th with the event. Um, you do need for our senior families to create an FSA ID. Um, before you come to the event. Uh, I do have flyers that went home with the information on the back of it, so make sure you look for that, and I sent out a Jupiter um, uh, email as well. So we're excited for that event. Once again, that's October 30th, starting uh, 6 o'clock for our science fair, and then 6.30 starts the FAFSA event. This past week, we had Unity Day. Uh, we were very excited about that, where all of us wear orange. Uh, Unity Day is where everyone can come together in schools, communities, and online and send one large orange message of support, hope, and unity to show that we are united against bullying and united for kindness, acceptance, and inclusion. Thank you all for your support. Here's some pictures to look at. show visited the elementary school and taught the students about never giving up and displaying good characters. Here are some pictures of the presentation. STEM night was a great success on Thursday night. 
Families were able to have a great time exploring hands-on science activities. Here are some pictures. Sixth graders visited Sandaway Discovery Center, where they learned all about climate change. Here are some pictures of their visit. Please remember to like and follow us on Facebook to stay informed of important information throughout the school year. I'm Mrs. Cooper. Thanks for watching. And remember, an engaged parent is a great parent.